Hi Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here we're gonna do a full oracle card spread and then if you like, there's an extended video of a full tarot card spread tarot card spread that extends that reading, that energy articulates it and goes into a little bit more detail and also includes a romance reading and prediction. So let's dive right in. This is for Taurus sun, moon, and rising energy or wherever Taurus energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you see this video is the right time for you. Crowning your energy, Taurus. Crowning your energy. Truth transcends illusion. This is a card of transformation and transcendence of something changing. You see, this is two plus two, four, which tells me that you are solid enough and you have what it takes to be able to traverse these changes, to be able to get through them. Change is always tumultuous. Change is always a little bit painful. Change is traumatic and a little bit scary, but there is a sense of some, a part of you being revealed, a part of like a truth, a trueness of your character, of your nature, of your thoughts, and also of how honesty can help you sort of being honest with yourself and being true to yourself can help you transcend and turn this period of change into a period of growth and happiness and um like I said, I keep here I keep saying the word over and over go, over and over again transcendence 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 yes this could either be this is a transitional time but what will you do with, with the transition will it topple you or will you transcend will you grow will you develop will you become something that can fly instead of something that is um, subject to all tides and pushed around by emotions this is a time to show the best of yourself. This is also a, a sense of um, um, daring to be your true self and daring to sort of reveal who you are or expose those those things about you that you know um, are more vulnerable. To be able to 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 show them and share them and in order to feel it, to heal it kind of energy of in order to, in order to uh, grow from a, this experience, there's a sense of maybe you just got news or some sort of information came through, um, that forced you into this, um, change this, this growth, um, maybe uh, ready or not here it comes, right? It's almost like how you react will say a lot about who you are, and where you're going this week. Use your mind wisely, but this is almost like denial upside down of being confused and not um, almost wanting to accept something, uh, not necessarily being in denial, but um, maybe being even impulsive or impetuous or feeling like, feeling like you're the ugly duckling, feeling like you're being looked at, like you don't belong, feeling like an outsider. Watch your words. It's almost like somebody is hanging on, on your words, um, coming in to accost you or accuse you or say something against you or words are almost stinging, stinging your ears right now. Somebody is making fun of you, being derisive or um, trying to egg you on. Somebody who is going along with everybody else like, um, yeah, like they just say what's popular to say and this is really irritating you and it's sort of making you an outcast or making you feel like um, a pooped on, if you will. 
Um, and it's almost like you're sort of tongue tied to this because you can't believe that this is happening or that this person is acting this way or that this is the kind of energy or message that's listened to. Um, you are trying to be very, very careful with what you say and how you respond, um, knowing that it that it matters and, and wanting to keep your cool. You also don't necessarily um, want to go along with the tide or the fact that I remember having this reading for you a couple of weeks back of um, how important is it for you to fit in? Is it important enough so that you are just like a parrot and say whatever you think everybody wants you to say, even though it's still not working and somehow you still stand out and you're still an outsider? Like you're trying to conform and fit in, but it's, um, and that's why right now, even at this period of, of maybe you're trying to like level up or grow or get somewhere or earn some footing and you're sort of, um, this is an energy of, of not impulsivity, but it's just making bad choices and saying what is expected of, of you, or this is an energy somebody in your life is saying what is, is expected as opposed to what's sincere and true to them. The abundant universe will provide, this is your energy, um, 10, so fulfillment, um, so much of this energy is running around. I think this also has to do with material things and wanting nice things and wanting to keep hold of those things that you've grown accustomed to. Um, there's a sense of prioritizing those things, uh, wanting to make sure that they're protected and safe. Um, I'm sorry, Taurus, my neck has been acting up all day. Um, Um, I apologize. This, sometimes this is the energy of repressed or suppressed information to hold on to material abundance. Central energy, time for a beginner mind. This is Aquarius season. Um, this is going in with your swords out. Uh, walking into a room and and letting people know that you're ready to fight if you need to or that you have your defenses out sort of being prickly maybe coming off as a little aggressive this week um sort of not taking any s-h-i-t like um 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 letting people know that you're willing to bully back this is a sense of um just defensiveness eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 is 3 I just feel like there's this this is there's this desire to want to do the right thing but maybe coming off too aggressive and too defensive while you do it um it doesn't matter how you come off you know believe in yourself um 5 plus 7 is once again 12 also three three like this is planting seeds for the future wanting to ensure your family is happy and safe this is virgo energy of wanting to make sure that you know the growth continues in the right direction that it you're cultivating something healthy and something happy this is working really hard and um not wanting to like wanting to protect those things that you've worked hard to gain especially if they're being attacked or threatened somehow claim your independence it's almost like you're trying to like <laughs> i'm going to use this example is going to drive you guys crazy remember what justin timberlake and nsync did to that like screwed up uh producer that sort of owned them that's kind of what this is that's this energy of like getting out of a contract that you saw that was that was at first a really great opportunity, but then is almost like sucking you dry and you realize that you were being take advantage, taken advantage of and not respected and really just used and manipulated. But you put a lot of yourself into it. You put your whole heart into it. You since you were sincere in your interest and involvement in it. And now you don't just want to walk away from everything you've helped to earn. The seeds that you planted, you're you don't want to just walk away from everything that you you're not you're not you're not going to allow yourself to be bullied out of an abundance that um, an abundance that pivoted around you that was what happened because of you. 
Um, and yet there's some, there seems to be this sort of like bad contract or somebody in the back saying, no, you need to say this, you need to be like this and, and trying so, trying to pull you like a puppet. Remember, um, in sync's video, that, that video that where they were puppets that, that, that that's how they were being treated, even though it, um, all the money that was made was, what was their talent. Um, and yet they didn't get any of it. Or it's almost like you're learning and seeing the truth is coming out. Double Aquarian energy. And Aquarius is the truth bearer. The water bearer is truth. It's the truth is coming out. And you don't like what it's demonstrated. Or you don't like what it's shown. Um, and you're not about to. You're like, oh, you bye, 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 bye. You know? <laughs> yeah, like you're not. You're You're, you're, you're not. You're determined to defend what you've earned and not allow somebody to threaten um, all that you have gained. This is claim your independence. So this is like, this is you landing on your feet after you think you've been fl uh, flung from a window or fallen from a high rooftop. Somebody is trying to crash you down or you had to jump in order to like save yourself but you will definitely land on your feet in this pursuit for independence i don't see divorce here this doesn't seem to be relationship i feel like this is more um, a group involvement or a partnership involvement something like a legal involvement sometimes life stings this is you might look bad public like the public eye or public word or belief um, um, criticism on you um, um, or or being hurt by words that are being used against you or things that are being said but it's also like something is bugging you you know it's like this is the gadfly energy of you're you're fed up and you're done with the buzz and the way that things are happening it's like you can't ignore it anymore something keeps egging you on because it wants to push you to the point of I'm finished it's over and that's where you're at um, and this is otter spirit. You are never alone. So see, this is, this is definitely not love because this is, this is in your, um, grounding energy Taurus, which means your love and your family and maybe your spouse is what's grounding you and helping you unconditional love and support. Like I've got your back, whichever way you need to go, whatever you need to do with this. Uh, we don't care about the money or the time we're on your side when you fight this. So there's definitely a battle against this external establishment that I feel was like trying, trying to like use you or use what you could do or engage you and just sort of like just process you and spit you out type of type of like energy. Um, but now that like they weren't, it, you, they weren't what you thought they were. Truth transcends illusion. Okay, that's the crowning energy. This wasn't what you thought it was, but you put your heart and soul into it and everything that looks good about it was because of you. And now that you're trying to separate yourself from it, it's almost like it's trying to take everything that you did and, and you're like, nope, no, that's not what's going to happen. You don't, you don't get to do that to me. No, no, no. And this is like almost maybe even protecting your family heritage, your family name, doing this out of love is is finally sort of making this set like severing yourself because you know it's like i i gotta be true to my heart and my family and myself and this is the wrong place to be or yeah that kind of yeah something it's but your family is good uh four plus two six it's love that's getting you through this and it may even be love that is spurring you on to do this to like to like decide to claim your independence oh yeah um this is romance uh, there's six energy all over this six 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 <laughs> there is definitely this energy of um libra energy and aquarius energy aquarius energy right down the center that's really interesting of um a new fresh a new start clean ties that are completely cut and like i said this isn't divorce this is this is um i don't know you may be even expecting another baby too but 66 66 66 is 12 plus one plus two is three so that's the energy of three surrounded by six three six this is an energy of balancing out your love 
Um, your love is what balances you. Your love is what keeps you centered. Your love is that fresh point in your life that is that beautiful thing, that precious thing that you're trying to protect and make sure that the world is good for, um, the world is a good place for or a better place for. Um, yeah, it's like you, th this is what's grounding you. It's what's holding you down. Time for a deep dive, trust in... Your loved ones are what's holding you down this week. They are grounding you because there was an upheaval in something that was consistent in your life and something that you had relied on, especially to make abundance or money or, or like public abundance, something like that. And, and think about that. Think about that example I used about in sync. There is a sense of like, who do you go back to? when the partners you thought were like the best in the world end up being creeps that you just can't, you just can't. Like there's something about it that it's like you, you had to sort of be that puppet, that marionette, um, just shut your brain down and be that marionette to get to this. But it was your image and your abilities that were the, like the, that, that were strung up on the strings that that were the valuable things and now you're defending that you're defending all that you did as you decide to walk away from something that has been upsetting you for quite some time and like there's something about maybe something just happened in your life that made you like realize that I, I can't do this I can't ignore this anymore I haven't been true to myself and I've been ignoring this for too long. And it sort of just spurred you into making this decision to say bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to flip the uh, camera angle around. Hold on. Okay. Do you see how this is a stabilizing energy? You are never alone. This is you are just loved. From the time that you were a baby or you love your babies, this is true, significant, ultimate, unconditional love. And I feel like you have this unconditional life, love in your life and it is your grounding energy. It is holding you down. It is rooting you. It is part of your roots. You have rooted in love. You love your roots and you want to claim your independence from there's something that has been bugging you. What has been bugging you? A couple of weeks ago, based on readings that I've been doing for you, there was, remember that reading that I said, you were doing very well, but it was shallow well. Like maybe you were making a lot of money or you were getting a lot of public recognition or you were popular or wearing nice clothes, whatever, whatever. But it, there was something lacking underneath, right? And I know that you love those luxury things. You love nice things, but this is almost like I'm disconnecting and claiming my independence from there's something or buddy that has been getting on, like you didn't like, you haven't liked the whole time. It felt insincere. You went along with it because most everything else was really good and it was an opportunity, but there was something here, Taurus, that now you just can't ignore. Something happened in your life to make you realize I can't sell out like this. And most of what you built was your talent anyway. You ultimately, you didn't need this partnership, right? But now it's almost like having to defend yourself and what you earned. Um, because clearly this person isn't going to want, want you to walk away when, when, you know, they've been doing so well through you or because of you type of energy, you know? But your family is right on board and saying, listen, whatever it is you need, whatever you want. We're not worried about the money. We're not worried about anything. We, we love you and we got your back. I want to go over. Let's see if you want to um, continue this in the extended. I'd like to see what kind of truth comes out about this, this energy that I'm picking up that is, you know, that you're fighting against for some reason. I feel like they're almost shocked that you weren't as happy as you seemed to be. Um, and then we're going to do your love spread too. So Taurus, that extended link is below. I will see you over there.